Hi, you're backstage with Lanel. I did a drum solo a couple days ago and I thought I'd bring you guys along. In this video, I'm going to talk about what I think is important when doing a drum solo and I thought I might also do a vlog about it. Bear with me though, because I've never done a vlog before. Although I want this channel to be more than just drum covers. So let's give it a go. This friend of mine is an event planner and a couple of weeks back he hired me to play a drum solo at one of his events. That was the first time I ever done a drum solo and I realized that it was so much more than just get up there and start banging the drums. I kinda had to write a drum solo and I wanted it to be interesting even for people who doesn't even play drums. I'm not a very technical drummer so me fucking around with paradiddles and quintuplets and whatnot, that's not gonna happen. Instead. I tried to make it fun, but with smooth transitions. I think that's the key part. So, this is what I did. Start out with your favorite drum yams. As a drummer, you have probably been sitting behind your drum kit, just playing different parts that you think is fun. Figure them all out and give them a name. I call this one NWA. When you've done that, figure out which parts works best together. Because some parts work better together than others. I like to start out kind of low key and then just build up and then with a bang. Play one drum part and try to make it go into another. Then you play another drum part and you try to make that go into another. Try that out until you know which one works best. Then you just write down the sequence and you start practicing it. That's how I thought when I wrote my drum solo. Now let's go play it. Now let's go play it! Now let's go play it! Woo! <laughs> now let's go play it. Now let's go play it. Alright, getting ready to leave the apartment. I'm going to the Halloween party now. This time, I'm gonna wear my Converse. Cause last time I did the drum solo, I accidentally wore those. And... I just couldn't play in them at all. I sat down at the drum set like half a minute before I was gonna pl start playing. I just looked down and saw that I had these huge boots on and I kind of panicked and like, oh fuck, I can't play in these. So I took them off and just played in my, in my sock instead. But that's not gonna happen today because I'm wearing my Converse and I always play in Converse. They are also part of my Halloween outfit. So I'm not gonna mess up this time. All right. Let's go. Fuck me, I missed the bus. Good thing there's a bike. Hey, I made it. Strong drummer legs, you know. Hey. Hey. Just arrived at the venue where I'm playing tonight. Now I'm setting up my drum kit. Let's do this. fast all right so I set up my drum kit now although they forgot the little uh, seat on the drum stool hopefully they're gonna go get that before tonight I think there's about 150 200 people here tonight that's it for now it's quarter past three I have to kill some time let's do it with this the GoPro this is what I'm getting paid with for the drum solo is this working hey Trying to find a stool that's a little bit higher than the one I had before because it's just too low and I can't play with that. Okay, that didn't work at all. I just hope the drum stool gets here, right? I'm almost like this during gigs, you know, I was so, um, so stressed out about the small things that doesn't really matter. Now I'm thinking that I can't play because the stool is too low, but I don't know. 
we'll figure it out somehow. What's up? So, I'm helping out a little bit. I'm gonna serve some cocktails for the guests when they come here. This event is super planned. It's awesome. This map is pretty cool as well. You might actually play in it during the drum solo. Just to be a mystical drummer, you know? It's here. Drum stool. Let's get this fixed. Now I can relax. They're relaxed. <laughs> Thank finished the set. I haven't seen the footage yet but I probably played a lot more quicker than I should have because I was a bit nervous. <laughs> anyway uh, it was fun. I might not be the best drummer but I tried to take every chance I get just to play. I think that's the key to getting better. Put yourself in awkward situations that's how you learn. I don't know if this vlog is gonna end here. If it does thank you for watching. Leave a comment what you thought about it, what you want me to talk about in future. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.